Hello, and welcome to Ask an Expert with Procedure Solutions Management. My name is James Bennett. I'm the Director of Business Services, and I'm here today with Stephen McCord, our founder and chairman of the board. So for today's question, we're called Procedure Solutions Management. And all the time we get asked the question, what is a procedure? Man, James, that's a really great question, right? Because depending on what industry you're in, you may not call it a procedure. Uh, sometimes they're called policies, they're manuals, they're uh, uh, guidance documents, they're instructions. Uh, there's, there are all kinds of names for it. Um, when you look across industry, at all the different industries, there is a common theme with regards to all those types of documents. One of the common theme is, is that they're all considered to be controlled documents. Uh, that means that if it's a controlled document, it's a type of document that has some type of revision process or a revision number to it. So this way it means that there's always, as one document gets revised to the next, that there is always some uh, control in that process so that a person who's actually using that document um, will always have the latest version of that document. So it's something like a version control, I guess, if you want to put it that way. The other thing that they talk about for procedures is that procedures always have a specific purpose to them. Um, the purpose is normally divine, or purpose and scope, sometimes you'll see that together. Um, so uniformly, depending, independent of what industry we come across, uh, they usually always have that specific purpose. Now, purpose is defined as the what you're doing, the when you're doing it, and why. Sometimes you also see it as the intent of the procedure or the intent of the document. So they are a controlled document that has a specific purpose or an intent to them, right? They also have uh, a numbering scheme to them, which means there's usually an alphanumeric or it can have bullets to it, but it's a document that has a, a certain sequence a purposeful sequence to that document. So when you combine all those together, the definition of a procedure is that the document overall has a, a specific purpose to it, right? It's a, it's a controlled document, and that it's got some sequence to the steps to be able to be performed. Now, independent of that, of those things, is that when you discuss a, a procedure, a, per, a procedure is considered to be a human performance tool. Right? So when you combine those things between the revision control or control, the controlled nature of the document, the purpose, the sequence, overall it's meant to be a human performance tool. It's there to help them be more successful in the work they are to be performed by following the direction that's being provided. All right, well thank you Steve, and there you have it. That's what a procedure is. If you want to find more information or if you'd like to contact us, please visit our website at ProcedureSolutionsMGMT.com.